Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between NovaShare and Social Pug, which is now known as uh, Grow by Mediavine. Uh, this was actually asked to, by me from somebody on Twitter to make, so I figured I'd make the comparison. What we're really looking at is the performance difference, and we're trying to set them up as closely as we can. Effectively, these plugins have the general same feature set. They have different styling for their buttons. So you'll get a different appearance, but what we're really trying to do is determine which one is faster. So to do this, we're going to set up a test using basically the following parameters. We're going to enable the inline buttons, which are enabled on both. We're going to make sure that we try to display in both locations, and we're going to enable the floating bar. We're also going to make sure that they are using the same networks. So for floating, we're going to be using Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. We're basically just trying to give a one-to-one -one comparison. I'll even put them in the same order just for the sake of simplicity. The styling won't really matter too much. I'm basically leaving them at the default styling. And then for the inline buttons, we're going to be doing the same thing and we're just going to be enabling the same buttons. I'm not going to go through the setup process for this plugin to enable share buttons for Facebook, which ultimately shouldn't really matter. And we're going to see why that's happening. That's not a good sign. All right, inline content. Let's try this one more time. Add and then save. All right, we're just gonna chop that up to being something wrong with the site. These are running the exact same theme, which is the default 2020 theme. We're using the exact same starter post as our point of comparison. So we're gonna open up this post and make sure that we have the buttons installed with their default styling. The one thing we do wanna make sure is that the inline content buttons are both above and below, just so that way we have the exact same configuration as we do on here, which is above and below. And then I'm going to make one more edit, and that is I'm gonna add at the bottom a click to tweet functionality because this plugin does come with it and we're going to see about enabling this bit of functionality let's see the plugin does advertise the feature let's see click to learn more it looks like this is only available in the pro version that is a bit unfortunate. I don't know why they bothered to advertise it on the plugin page, but for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna delete the click to tweet on this post as well. So that way it's a one-to-one -one comparison. This video is being made before the full configuration guide of the uh, Pug plugin by Mediavine. So we are just going to go ahead and leave default. So we wanna make sure one more time, the three share buttons are both enabled at the top and the bottom and the floating buttons are enabled. The styling doesn't matter too much because we're really just trying to give a similar comparison between the two plugins to see their impact on the page weight. Measuring it by page weight is the best way of determining performance because we want to eliminate factors such as the page speed and the server response time. So we're really just measuring which one is adding less bloat to the page, which is really all that matters when you're using plugins like these. If you're on your own server, you will be using a caching plugin like Cache Enabler, and it'll be serving them from static HTML. So we just wanna see which one offers the best performance experience. As we can see over here, this is the Nova Share option, 391 kilobytes with 19 requests. And that is basically all that matters. Over here though, we have 398 kilobytes with 19 requests. So the request counts the same, but the page size is different. Let's see what could be the direct reasoning for this. We're gonna open up and just make sure we're going to look for Mediavine or Social Pug is the URL that they are appending. So we're gonna look for Social Pug in our waterfall. So Social Pug adds a, ah, this is its undoing right here. It is using a 10.4 kilobytes Google font file. That's probably what's gonna ultimately be the difference between these two. If I look up NovaShare, NovaShare is delivering 
slightly less JavaScript, 809 kilobytes instead of 838 bytes. Its main CSS file is 1.4 kilobytes instead of 2.7. Keep in mind that in both of these scenarios, the files are gzipped. So it's about half as much CSS being loaded. And because it uses inline SVGs, it doesn't add anything for the font files because there aren't any. Uh, so realistically, this is a pretty fast plugin. You would not really be suffering any major performance headaches by using SocialPug, also known as Grow by Mediavine. The one thing that really hammers this plugin though is the inclusion of the WAF format. If it was included as WAF2, they could probably shave quite a few extra bytes off, but it would still not be nearly as fast as NovaShare. One other point that we have to keep in mind is that we are comparing the free version of SocialPug instead of the pro version. NovaShare is a premium only plugin. The reason that that needs to be pointed out is because there's no click to tweet functionality, I have a good I have a good feeling that the pro version is going to add more bloat. Um, but really though, this is still much lighter than even Social Warfare was when we ran the test in the main NovaShare video. So you couldn't really go wrong with either one of these plugins, but the CSS is slightly larger. It's twice as large. If you're, if you're curious about the uncompressed sizes, this is 16.2 kilobytes uncompressed of CSS. This one is 5.4, so it's effectively three times as large uncompressed. And the JS is 1.3 kilobytes for NovaShare, while this one is 1.6 kilobytes for the Social Pug plugin. And then as we just mentioned, there is no WAF file being loaded for NovaShare. All in all, they're great plugins. I would really hope to, in the near future, test the pro version against NovaShare, but I have a feeling that because of the extra features that it locks behind the paywall, notably click to tweet, which I would have hoped they included in the free version, but it sadly does not look like they have done that. If you were strictly looking at performance differences, I would suggest using NovaShare. If there is a styling or feature set though that you wish to get out of social pug, it's still gonna be much better than using social warfare strictly from a performance standpoint. If you have any questions, you can please feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll try to help you out and address them. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.